I made a video showing you the best ways to make money in Stardew Valley but that is boring and you already knew it all so in this video I will show you some odd and unique ways to get absolutely stacked in cash. Enjoy! In my last video I showed you just how amazing hops can be. The problem is that you will have to harvest and drop these hops into kegs every single day. I am lazy and won't stand for it. However, there is a method to make the same riches with much less effort. First, grab yourself a Junimo hut. This is how much ground a Junimo hut can cover. Place the minimum amount of sprinkles in the most optimal positions like this and then plant hop crops on every single available spot on the first day of summer. Now completely forget about these hops for the rest of summer. Do not even bother coming here once. Instead, wait for summer to end and let those Junimos collect all of the hops for you. Then when it's all done you can easily run all these hops through your kegs in fall while your other crops are growing. You'll be rich without having to babysit those quick annoying crops. You can use this method on other crops but it works best on hops as they regrow every single day. The slime hutch allows you to hatch slimes, well you can actually hatch slimes everywhere in the game however it is only worthwhile if you grow them in a slime hutch. This is because slimes in a slime hutch will create these slime sacks. These are the money makers, make sure that your slime hutch has a sprinkler to keep the water balls full. And make sure the slime hutch is filled with the maximum amount of slimes allowed. Make sure that your slimes are taking up as little space as possible and place flooring on the part of the hutch that is their home. Now ignore this thing for a couple weeks, pop in here and grab all of these slimes sacks. Turn the astronomical amount of slime into more eggs and sell those suckers. Yeah, this is another effortless way to make tons of money. It won't replace your ancient food, but if you set it up like this, it can be substantial. Fishing is just an incredible way to make tons of money, especially in the early game. The only problem with fishing is that it takes up a ton of effort and time. If you want to make money with fishing, you basically can't do anything else on that day. This is where crab pots come in. For this to work, you absolutely need the trapper profession and the marina profession. This will make it easier to craft crab pots and it will stop crab pots from producing junk items. Now just place many crab pots in a really convenient spot. Collect all of the fish and fill them back up with bait instead of immediately selling these turn them all into sashimi. These crab pots can make me about 4000 gold every single day. Multiply that over an entire season and you will be making tons of passive easy money with almost no effort once you set it all up. This works best if you place them in a convenient spot like right on your farm for example. The lure master profession will allow you to ignore bait however this is not as good as you will mostly be getting trash items. I guess you could recycle them but that is an extra step that I am not about. You can only obtain rare seeds in two ways. First you can drop a sweet gem berry into a seed maker or you can buy a rare seed from the traveling merchant on both Fridays and Sundays. Yes it is expensive however you are guaranteed to see a rare seed on every single day during both spring and summer at 1000 gold. Now I would not recommend trying to use these seeds and make money in the traditional way that we do with all the other crops in the game as they are expensive and take so long to grow. However I would still recommend buying a seed every single Friday and Sunday and growing these either exclusively in your greenhouse or in garden pots in your home. Each seed will make you a minimum of 2000 gold profit and a maximum of 5000 gold profit. Think about it, the effort required to make this free money is definitely worth it. Just make it a part of your routine and you'll be one step closer to that golden clock. Okay, so we all know that animals are good for your pockets. The traditional way of making money with animals is raising them, feeding them, collecting their produce and then turning them into artisan goods. Like goat's cheese, cloth and most importantly, truffle oil. These methods are very good at making you rich but there is another way to make money with animals. Yes, I am referring to raising them, getting them to maximum hearts and then immediately selling them for profit. This works very well with cows and goats as you can glitch the game to max the friendship within a single day. However, this works even better with ostriches. This is because you can easily hatch ostriches for free and then when you do sell them you'll make a very impressive 20,000 gold for each ostrich that you sell. Don't forget that you can gain friendship faster if you pet them every single day and if there is an auto petter in the barn as well. While they are in the process of loving you, you can also turn their eggs into mayo and make money that way. This is kind of incredible and might be even more profitable than pigs if you set it all up correctly. Hey you, yes you with the amazing taste in games, are you tired of missing out on great Stardew Valley videos? Then hit subscribe right now to never miss another video. Do it.
If you don't like the idea of raising up your animals just to sell them to someone else who might slaughter them, then the traditional animal money making process is for you, but that requires a lot of effort. So this is what I do instead, buy an auto grabber and dive into the mines until you find an auto petter. Use luck buffs and just get lucky and you'll have one in no time. Then place them both into a farm building, pet your animals until they love you and then just completely forget about them. Of course you should at least make sure that there is enough food in the silo for them, but you really could just completely ignore them for an entire year. With the help of the auto petter they will still love you and when you click on the auto grabber after a long period of time you'll see that it will be absolutely stacked with animal products. You can do the smart thing and turn these into artisan goods or you can just drop it all into the shipping bin. You'll be surprised at just how much money you can make without even doing anything. This especially happens to me since I hardly ever give my animals the attention that they deserve. A 5x5 five five square of starfruit can make you 20,000 gold if you do not process them into wine. That is about 1,600 gold per day for the entire square. A single lava eel fish pond will produce an average 2 lava eel row every single day. The fish pond takes up the exact same amount of space, however if you do turn the lava eel row into aged row with the artisan profession, you will make about 2,100 gold per day. So technically the lava eel fish pond is most definitely not a bad source of money at all. You could fully commit and build tons of these and yes your wallet will thank you the benefit of these is that they do produce lots of money and they do it much quicker as it produces fish row almost every single day it only takes two days to age the row where with a crop like starfruit you will need to wait 13 days for it to fully mature and then another seven days to turn it into wine yes the starfruit will make you more money if you turn them into wine but the lava fish pond will make you money every single day it could be a fun new challenge if you are looking for something different listen and I know you like the idea of crafting up tea tree saplings and just selling them as is without actually planting them. Yes, this can make you rich as they sell for a massive 500 gold each. Yeah, I get that. However, we can abuse the same Junimo tip from before. That's right, set up your Junimo hut exactly the same way with the hops just without the sprinklers. Once again, completely forget about this for an entire season then collect 2000 tea leaves. Now you could turn this into green tea but that will take a lot of effort and isn't as good as hops so instead just sell the stuff for an easy 100,000 gold. Yeah, I did not misspeak. That is 100,000 gold per season for absolutely no effort. In my opinion, it is just worth it. Bonus tip time, this next method is absolutely horrible but it can be fun. Ensure that you are wearing a burglar ring and a hot java ring. Use some monster musk and just spend all of your time in the mines defeating hundreds of enemies and bombing your way at every rock you can see. Clear out hordes of enemies and collect tons of loot. This mechanism is for those of you who want the thrill of risking it all in the depths of the skull cavern. Then just turn all of the metal ore into bars and sell everything. Nothing is safe from the shipping bin. This method sounds absolutely absurd but with the right professions you can and will make tons of money using this method. It is most definitely a big change of pace that I am quite fond of. That was 8 unique odd ways to make money. These are good but not as good as the classic best ways to make money that you will find in this video. Thanks for watching but for now I will see you in the next video.